Wow. Much. Grateful. Very. Thanks. Oh, you can't be serious. I don't know if you guys will believe me, but today I found the best BuzzFeed video ever. BuzzFeed cringe at its finest. Also, why are my lips smacking so much? So today I'll be breaking down a 30 minute BuzzFeed video into the cringiest parts that I could find. But if you guys do want some more BuzzFeed content, let me know down below and make sure to smash that like button. And without further ado, let's jump right in. Just kind of identify myself as, you know, your typical average everyday Jane feminist. Just by that title card, we can tell that this is gonna be the best BuzzFeed and or video that any of us have ever watched, ever. So yeah, let's see how feminists react to playing GTA 5 for the first time. Heard about prostitutes and about racing cars and beating people up. Now honestly, I don't know if that's what you do in GTA, but honestly, when I used to play it all the time, what I would do is me and my friends would do heists and stuff and try to get the most amount of money that we could to buy the coolest car and then just proceed to kill each other for a couple hours. Uh, I know that GTA is a satire on American culture. Not joking or anything, she's honestly the smartest person I think that they have at BuzzFeed. Like, yeah, she may absolutely hate the game and despise everything about it and might be talking in a really, really negative voice, but at the same time, she's not really wrong. So good on you, Becky, or whatever your name is, because honestly, there was no title cards and I, I don't want to research the actual video. But good job, Becky, I'm, I'm proud of you. I, I wrote a blog post a while ago about why I f***ing hate video games, because this is what it does. It appeals to, like the male fantasy. Oh yeah, you know us men. We don't ever fancy getting rich or anything like that. No, no, no. How, how did you phrase it again? Our dream is... Prostitutes and about racing cars and beating people up. Oh yeah, thanks. Sorry, I forgot what male fantasies were all about for a second. Yeah, privilege. I have absolutely nothing to say about that one. Pretty. Whose mom thought it would actually be a really good idea to dress their daughter up in the worst drag ever? Like, like hmm, yeah, she's going on a really popular YouTube channel that usually gets a couple million views. Uh, get a monkey to do her makeup. <gasps> Pretty. Pretty. What the fuck? Oh. R right. I'm not the pretty fucking helpless princess in distress. I don't know if that's just me, but I really, really don't like that first girl that came on, Mrs. Drag Queen Makeup Done by Monkey, whose parents obviously hate them. Like, how much neglect from your parents do you have to have to turn out like this girl at, like, age eight? And women who graduate university with straight A's get paid as much as men who only got C's. Right, I don't know how true that is, but trust me, this video is about to get a whole lot better. So... Bad grades equal more bank? Uh, no. I'm pretty sure that if you fail elementary school, you're not gonna make more money than a college graduate with straight A's. Also, who's filling their heads with all of this information? Like, they're like six. They shouldn't be sitting on a BuzzFeed video saying all this stuff. They should be worried about hanging out with their friends, not passing with straight A's out of college and making less money than a man. Just because you're a boy? Um, hello and hell no. Yeah, I think I'm kind of done with BuzzFeed for right now. Making that video made me lose about 30 chromosomes, I would say. But if you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button. And real quick before I end the video, I want to go into I want to go into a video that someone sent me. It was uh, more or less a send for me. And yeah, let's jump right in. Did he just call me Sir BJ? I don't remember begging for attention as Gregor Gristar is saying here, but uh, good job on the send, man. I'm I'm really scared right now. Honestly, so scared that I'm about to build myself a fort and hide in it for about a week. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If you enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. We've jumped up a couple hundred subscribers. Like we're blowing past 1K, and I I think we're gonna hit 2K in the next couple weeks. So thank you all so much for that support. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.